unstable battlefield which is Vietnam today, the Huey helicopter is a vital element. scope of combat operations, Hueys are performing magnificently in a wide variety of missions. Aerial artillery, tactical transport of combat elements, resupply to remote corners of the battleground. Medical evacuation for the sick and wounded. And special forces operations. In its role as an armed helicopter, the Huey has transformed air mobile operations from a concept to a revolutionary form of land warfare. Its combat success, however, has also pointed to needed improvements. Increased armament payload, improved gunner visibility, and increased fire to the flanks. Also needed are greater speed and range, and improved combat maneuverability. And the need for better protection for helicopter and crew is evident. Bell foresaw the growth of these requirements and pursued a thorough research and development program to provide the high-speed know-how in advance. What has now become essential in Vietnam had already become possible at Bell. The metamorphosis from Huey to Huey Cobra is based on one vital genetic link, commonality of the dynamic system. Blades, transmission, engine, and drive system were encased in a sleek, new, mission-designed fuselage, and the world's first integrated armed helicopter was born. The Huey Cobra is a balanced blend of aerodynamic efficiency and combat effectiveness. The fuselage, trimmed to 36 inches wide, provides a tandem cockpit configuration. The gunner forward and pilot in the rear arrangement affords maximum field of view and best team coordination. Its weapon system consists of an integral chin turret and external armament stores. Like all other Hueys, the Cobra offers extreme ease of access to its dynamic components. A mechanic trained on a B can maintain the Cobra. The rear cockpit contains complete IFR avionics and communications equipment. For rocket fire control, the pilot is provided a modified Mark 18 sight. The co-pilot gunner controls the turret with a handheld sight. He also has sidearm flight controls. Both stations have armored seats. The gunner has the additional protection of a bulletproof windshield. The small swept wing can carry various combinations of external stores. Four standard bomb shackles will carry, for example, 14 2.75-inch folding fin rockets, 28 rockets in XM-157 launchers, 38 rockets in XM-159 launchers, or a maximum load of 76 rockets. Alternately, XM-18 minigun, XM-13 40-millimeter grenade launchers, mines, smoke, or fuel could be carried. Less turnaround time, and in particular, rearming time, is needed for the Cobra.
8,000 rounds of 7.62 ammunition can be loaded into the ammo bay directly behind the turret. The Cobra fire control provides a dual firing rate for the minigun. 800 rounds per minute for probing or registry fire, and 4,000 rounds per minute fire for effect. The Emerson turret traverses 230 degrees in azimuth and provides elevation of 21 degrees and depression of 50 degrees. In combination with its fantastic firepower, the Cobra provides an increased degree of passive defense. Advanced armor materials integrated with the airframe structure protect crew and vital components self-sealing fuel tanks and vithane coating on critical fluid lines minimizes the vulnerability of the Cobra. Survivability is further enhanced by the speed of the Cobra, up to 170 knots in level flight or 190 knots dive speed. As an escort, the Cobra employs a 50% speed advantage over the convoy, a tactical capability of significant benefit, permitting the Cobra to detach, proceed ahead of the convoy and soften up the landing zone just prior to arrival of troops. assault itself has become a modern classic of land warfare. The escort Cobra marks the selected landing zone, reports enemy activity and desired approach direction to the main force. During the brief period when the troop carriers are on the ground, the Cobra provides suppressive fire eliminating critical points of resistance. Its wing-rotor combination provides outstanding maneuverability at all speeds. During departure, the Cobra uses its speed advantage to rapidly rejoin and provide cover behind and beneath the formation. Bell's Huey Cobra is now under contract and will soon roll off the production line to join the fighting Huey team in Vietnam. <laughs>